Okay, here we're pipetting out a traditional cereal dilution where the diluent is actually dyed yellow. This would typically be a, a plain DMSO or a plain buffer that we're going to dilute the compound through. In this case, we've, we've tinted it with yellow dye. The first step of the dilution protocol is to, to lay out the diluent as many points as we want in the dilution series. This is typically 8, 10 or 12 point um, dilution curves. Also, the volume that we dilute through can be varied for the, so the dilution ratio can be varied very easily within the software once the protocol has been written. In this case, we're doing a one in three dilution. We could do half log dilution, one in two dilution, or, or any, any other dilution ratio that was required. Now the diluent has been laid out, we go and get the top stock of compound, which in this case is blue. We pet that to the first column of our destination plate, and then a third of the volume into the first column of, column of diluent. We dispense and mix into that diluent, and then mix again on aspirate, mixing at a different height and a different speed and then carry a third of that mixture into the next column and again mix at two different heights and two different speeds to ensure that there's homogeneous mixing of the, of the compound into the diluent before we carry down to the next column. The number of mixes can also be varied in the software so we can ensure that we get extremely good mixing down the dilution series. If the compound is extremely sticky and you need to change tips between between columns in the dilution, this again can be easily configured in the, in the software setup. Normally we'd be pipetting into the base of a well of a plate or onto a substrate, but in this case I'm pipetting onto a plate lid so that we can see what's happening 